Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to do an OG Xbox update. I've got, uh, let me see. Ooh. Yeah, I've got eight games to show you today. So not bad at all. Uh, one's a replacement. So if you previously saw the video I did for the CEX roulette, then you'll know what two of these games are. And uh, one of them is a replacement for one of the games that came through that because uh, it wasn't, wasn't particularly great, let's put it that way. <laughs> Well, at least the artwork wasn't. The, the disc and the manual, they were pretty decent. So yeah, so slowly but surely, uh, building the OG Xbox back up for anyone who's not seen any of these videos yet. So the plan in 2022 is to build up all my favorite Xbox games. Now, I'm not gonna be buying a massive amount. I think if I say that, I mean, there's about 100 odd to get. So it's still quite a substantial amount of games, but I'm not going crazy buying games just that look interesting. I'm only buying games I know for a fact that I've played it before and enjoyed, or they're games that I haven't played, but they, they're definitely something that I would enjoy playing. And the only criteria really is to just buy them online, don't go into the wild, because I want the discs in really nice condition this time. Because I've had Xbox collections before, and the discs always scratch the hell, and it bugs me. So I want to try and get a nice, clean collection. So yeah, so as I say, I did a CEX roulette a while ago. I did sort of okay. One game, as I say, wasn't in the greatest of shape. The other game is absolutely immaculate. But I thought just for anyone who didn't watch that video, and because I've replaced the one that was knackered, I'd include him in this. So the first one we got, guys, the one that was knackered that has now been replaced. And I was the idea was to buy a copy off eBay and mix and match to get the best condition. As it happened, the one I got off eBay came absolutely superb condition, didn't need to do anything. So the one I got off CEX will so just go in the trade pile. Um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> first, we'll do. first game is 50 Cent Bulletproof. So really cool little game, uh, third person. By the way, just out of interest, for anyone that doesn't know, I only buy games with manuals. They're all complete in excellent condition as well. So yeah, Bulletproof is a really cool third person action game where you play as the rapper 50 Cent and you just run around murdering people. And that's essentially the game. I mean, there is a story, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just 50 Cent's music, which I enjoy. And running around with guns, just killing anyone who gets in your way. And it's a hell of a lot of fun. There's also a second game on the PS3 and the 360 called uh, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, which is even better. Um, it's basically the same sort of game, just with nicer graphics and a more ridiculous story. But I enjoy the 50 Cent games. I think they're really good. So I'm glad to have that finally. I was, real, I was really struggling to get a decent copy, which is why when I did the CEX roulette, I thought I'd just throw that in the basket and see what I got. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out as, as expected. And in the end, I ended up paying, I think, about a fiver for that or something. And uh, it came. And I think the seller was one of those ones that has multiple copies, if I remember correctly. So I was a bit unsure. But I was just hoping I'd get decent artwork because I already had a good manual and disc from CEX. And as it happens, this one arrives and the whole thing's in really nice shape. So, yeah, win-win. Um, the other game I got from CEX Roulette is a game I've never played but one I really want to try because it looked really cool and it came and I was absolutely blown away by the condition and it's this game called Arctic 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 Thunder. I can't actually say Arctic. I also say Arctic like everybody. I never pronounce the C. But yeah it's a uh, is it you call them jet skis? I don't know. I would think so. But it's a racing game basically on ice. Uh, it looks really fun. I mean the cover looks pretty cool doesn't it? I mean explosions, missiles, jet skis. You can't go wrong. But yeah, I was really blown away with this game because this game, I was watching a copy on eBay for ages and it was $7.99, I think, starting bid, if I remember correctly. And it didn't sound, got relisted a couple of times. And then unfortunately, on like the third listing, he took it down. And I was like, oh, because there was only a couple of other copies, one in rough condition and one was sealed and that was 25 quid. So I took a punt on getting it from CEX online and it came through and the, everything's mint, the manual, the, even the plastic's in good nick, the artwork, the disc, all great. As it happens, that guy that had one for seven ninety nine has now relisted it. Which <laughs> always the way, but I don't care because I'm really happy with the copy I've got. So when I eventually managed to find a good Xbox, because I'm not having a lot of success. There's been a couple, but they're a bit out of my price range right now. So I'm just taking my time, and I, you know, concentrating on getting the games at the moment. The console I can wait on. I've played a lot of these games a lot of times. So besides games like Arctic Thunder, where I've never played them. Those are in the in the absolute minority. The majority of Xbox games I've played and experienced, so I'm not in any rush to play them right now. I'm just happy to build the collection up, to be honest with you. 
The next one I got recently, just come through a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Another game that I've never played as well. And when I was going through what's available on the Pell Xbox, this looked really cool. And this appealed to me because it looked like an Xbox version of a game that I enjoy on Nintendo. Uh, it's a game called Carve. And this is basically like the Xbox version of Wave Race. It looks really nice graphically. And of course, being on the Xbox, you can have those really nice water effects. Because you now water always look great on the Xbox with the power of the machine. Yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, another one that arrived in absolutely excellent condition. Didn't cost me a fortune. I don't remember exactly. It's something like two ninety nine starting bid, or just over two pounds starting bid. I can't remember exactly, but I want it for the starting bid. So yeah, a couple of quid. Very happy, and it arrived in really nice shape. And hopefully, it's going to be the covers terrible. I mean, you know, they didn't really make an effort, but you know, graphically, it looks pretty good. As I say, I mean, it's the Xbox, so the, the water and the weather and that are going to look good. And I love Wave Race, so I thought, why not give it a try? So next up is a bundle of games I got. And I got really lucky with this. It came up, I saw it just as it was about to end on auction. And I thought to myself, that's a really good price. And I, I did a bit of quick bit of checking to make sure I was right, and I was. And I got a really good deal on this. And uh, <coughs> Excuse me. So I got all the Bond games, basically, in a bundle. So I'm really happy with this. So just starting with the first one, which is all in nice condition, Agent Under Fire. I like this one, it's pretty good. Uh, very cartoony, I'm just looking at the back just to remind myself. Yeah, I mean, you know, you get to use all the gadgets. There's some really nice car work in this actually. The car sections are really fun. Uh, you know, you get to hang out, you get to drive the cars and fire your missiles. You also get to hang out at the top of the car and on rail missions and shoot helicopters. And there's a bit in like, I think it's a train station if I remember correctly and you're on the back of a vehicle and you're just blasting stuff with your AK-47. It's a really fun game. I managed to complete this for the first time two years ago, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was great. Uh, yeah, definitely a, a top-notch game. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't dislike any of the Bond games. There's only one that annoys me, but I mean, they're all really good games. And next one is what I think most people think is the best one on this, this uh, generation, and that is 007 Nightfire. So this is a really cool one of a first person shooter. I've managed to get right to the very end where you're on the moon and I can't do it. I've tried and tried and tried. Two years ago I was trying to do this and I just couldn't do it. No matter how many times I tried it, I couldn't complete the game. Which is kind of frustrating. I must be doing something wrong so I'll have to watch some videos on YouTube try and figure it out. But I really like Nightfire. I mean, I love the, the opening scene on Nightfire where you're in the snow and you enter the castle and you're the dogs barking and all the atmospheric sound effects and the music and... Yeah, the guns, it's really, really good and really fun all the way through. It's just unfortunate I can't do that last mission. I just find it absolutely impossible. <coughs> Please excuse my cold, um, cough. I'm getting over COVID, so I'm just trying to get myself healthy at the moment. Right. Next up is probably my favourite Bond game on this generation. I love this game. And I only played it for the first time a couple of years back. And that is from Russia With Love. So this one goes third person instead of first, and we go back to the 1960s with Roger Moore. Roger Moore. What am I about? Sean Connery. Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, this is great. You get to use jetpacks. There's vehicles. There's You go on a boat. You run around and just shoot everyone. Uh, it's really, really, really fun. And graphically as well, one of the nicest looking Bond games, I think, out of these. I was really impressed with it, um, the graphics on it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play, and the jetpacks in particular. There's a bit where you go through some underground tunnels and you're on your little jetpack blowing stuff up and shooting people. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I really enjoy that game. I, I never see people talk about Russia with Love. It's always Night Fire, Agent Under Fire, and the other games, but that is an excellent game. I definitely recommend playing a bit of Russia with Love. So, last two, which if you know the Bond games, you'll know what they are, but the reason I went for this bundle in particular was not only to get all five games out of the way, so I've got them, uh, but because it was this, the exclusive agent pack. Now, this is weird, man. I mean, they put GoldenEye Rogue Agent and everything or nothing together in a pack, and I don't understand why. I can't really understand. There must have been a reason at the time, but I can't work out what it is. You see, I could have understood if they put all five of them in a pack, or if they put, I don't know, GoldenEye, Agent Under Fire, and Nightfire together as a triple pack, as they're all first-person shooters. And then they maybe did a pack for Russia with Love and Everything or Nothing because they're third-person action games. But Goldeneye and Everything or Nothing and Nothing I like. And I really don't understand why they put them in together. So if anyone does actually know the reason, please let me know. But yeah, I just thought it would be really cool. To have. I've never owned the agent pack, so I thought it would be a nice thing to have. So obviously, as I say, 
I mean, they're in lovely condition, by the way. All these games are in great shape. So we've got GoldenEye Rogue Agent, which is the one that I think most people agree is the worst Bond game of this generation. I actually really like this game. It reminds me of sort of like the Unreal and Quake era. It doesn't, it's not so much about the story. I mean, it has got one, but it's really more about just running and gunning and just going room to room blasting and dual wielding. And sometimes that's all you need to just sit back with. I managed, I played it like two years ago. I was trying to beat all these and I got to the, near enough to the end of Goldeneye when you get, I don't know, it's not a laser weapon. I can't put it in there. You get that massive weapon that fires up blue stuff and it gets really, really hard. And I, I just couldn't do it, but <laughs> <coughs> eventually I will do that. I'll keep trying. Um, and then we got Everything or Nothing, which back when this came out, I love this game. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's a third person cover shooter and it's absolutely excellent. Uh, I still think like level design wise and everything and graphically it's a great game, but controls, it's an absolute bloody nightmare. I found it so frustrating. I was playing it, I say back in like 2020 and I just found it irritating. It, I mean, the car bits are okay on it. They're not the greatest. And the third person is just absolutely frustrating as hell. But, you know, I have got some nostalgia for it. I really enjoyed it when it first came out, and I do like the level design. But, yeah, it's definitely not my favourite. As I say, for me, Russia with Love is the best one. And I would, you know, if I'm, if I'm actually going to put these in order, I'd probably go Russia from love, with Love. Um, I would probably go Agent Under Fire, then Night Fire, and then I'd definitely go Gold Knight, Everything or Nothing. That would probably be my order. But yeah, I'm just glad to have all five of them in, in the collection because, I mean, it's so, it's so much easier when someone does a bundle like that instead of having to buy them individually. And as a fan of the Bond games in general, I love Bond games. They're some of my favourite. I mean, the PS3 and 360 got some absolutely exceptional Bond games. And there's a new one coming out for the next gen. Unfortunately, I'll probably never get to play that, but there we go. So yeah, so all good so far. Not bad at all. I'm back on track. So that's another eight editions to the OG Xbox collection. As I keep getting them in, I will do more pickup videos, of course, so keep an eye out for those. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Have you guys played Arctic Thunder and Carve? Are they any good? They look pretty cool to me, so I'm hoping they are. But it's, it's nice to uh, slowly build this collection up, not rush it, you know. It's going well so far. And for a bit of a plug as well, I recently watched a great Xbox video from my mate Clay, Clay Graphics. He put up a video about his, uh, I think it was his memories, if I remember correctly. And he was talking about all the games he had at the time and going through his collection. It's really, really interesting, great video. And Clay has also got a really great channel as well. If you've never found Clay Graphics, go down the link for this. Uh, <laughs> good, God, you can tell I'm sick. Go down for the description of this video and there'll be a link down there for Clay's channel. So please go over and check him out and see what you think. And if you like his channel, obviously give him a subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video, please leave your comments down below as always, and I'll see you in the next pickup video.